Over the weekend, I had a birthday. You know, not one of those big birthdays, you know, not like a milestone birthday, not like a birthday that makes you go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm that old. Um, And also not a birthday where you're like, yay, it's a great year to have a birthday during a pandemic. (laughs) In fact, last year on my birthday, um, the dinner that my husband and I went out for for my birthday was the last time that uh, right before kind of everything closed down uh, in our city. And so it's felt kind of strange to uh, know that a year has gone by and all the things that have happened and not happened. But it got me really reflecting and thinking about gratitude and thinking about dreaming. So we went to a restaurant we haven't been to before here in Philadelphia, but we've been meaning to go for so long. It's a Peruvian restaurant. And we wanted to go there because I was so lucky that I got to go along on a business trip that my husband had to Peru um, several years ago. And that trip was really incredible. Machu Picchu had been on my um, bucket list. It was the next thing in line on my bucket list. And when I told my husband that, he's like, I don't really want to go to Machu Picchu. But when he got a business trip that took us there, and then we went afterward, he was really um, impacted by it as well. And I remember him saying, you know, it wasn't on my bucket list, but it should have been on my bucket list. And we had such an incredible um, time there. A couple things that that just makes me think about it. This is a necklace that uh, it actually represents uh, what they call Pachumama. And that's Mother Earth in uh, Peru. And I got this when we were in Cusco. It's a really cool little thing. It's got all like the little colors of the, the stones and things that are used in it. Something else that I thought was fun was uh, at one of the hotels we stayed at, instead of like a, um, you know, uh, please, you know, make up my room or, you know, do not disturb. They had these little um, things hanging on the doorknob. There's another one and I I can't find it at the moment, um, but it looks like a little maid. So for maid service or for uh, letting you sleep. And we had these incredible experiences. Um, I got to watch, you know, these women with uh, these, uh, uh, I want, I wanted to call them baby goats, but they're not alpacas, baby alpacas. And, you know, you could get a picture taken with them, which I never did. And I really regret that. There's also this place where they had these incredible powdered dyes um, that were for sale. And they were literally like the colors of my hair (laughs) and I didn't buy them. And I still regret that. Um, but the food was amazing. And the, the ceviche we ate was amazing when we were uh, in Lima by the, by the sea. And when we were in Machu Picchu in Cusco area, you know, it was a lot more meats and, and different kinds of root vegetables. We actually were on a mountaintop. And in this mountaintop, there were, it was an old, um, like historical site, ar- archeological site. But as we walked around it and our guide was taking us through, there were all these piles of potatoes just laying on the ground. And when we asked our guide, like, what's going on with the piles of potatoes? He goes, oh, that's how the Peruvian people freeze dry their food so that it lasts longer through the winter. They literally freeze dry potatoes on top of a mountain. You know, going to the restaurant for my birthday was incredible, you know, enjoying some Pisco sours, having some ceviche, you know, having a little bit of dream of that memory. And of course, it's always nice to celebrate your birthday. But what it really got me doing again was remembering it's okay to dream. It's okay to dream about places that we want to go. I've been very, very fortunate. I I don't even know if I could tell you all the numbers of countries that I've visited in my lifetime. I'm so fortunate to not only be able to see the world, but have such a joy and passion for it. And like many of us, like many of you, like all of us around the world, we have felt like we couldn't make plans too far in the future because what if we're disappointed or what if it didn't happen? And As I get set to do a couple things, number one, in just a couple weeks, I'm going to begin taping a whole series of episodes for our podcast called Pack Your Bags, where I have all these incredible um, people lined up to talk about amazing places that you may want to visit. And I'm also, we're also trying to juggle perhaps a a trip if we can end up getting vaccinated um, with some very good friends to celebrate that friend's 50th birthday. So all of a sudden we're making plans and we're dreaming. And not only going back to have a dinner where we could reflect on an amazing vacation, an incredible trip, but just the the joy and the hope now, 
not only is it getting to be spring here in uh, the Northeast of America, but it's also, you know, that light at the end of the tunnel, I've been talking about it a lot, that sense of we can do this, we are almost there. And yes, we will be able to hug each other again, and we will be able to travel the world. And we will be able to um, see little girls riding their bikes on the top of a mountain um, and uh, notice that, you know, not only is she missing a couple of teeth like kids her age, but so cute to see her shoes on the wrong feet. <laughs> and we'll be able to connect as human beings. So my motivation this week is hope. It is a view for the future that includes so many opportunities that I know that even though I appreciated them before, I can guarantee you I'm going to appreciate them even more now. Have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.